Hi everybody, Lucas Welsh here with another Tips from the Classroom session for you today. And today we want to talk quickly about our bow again. Last week we talked about our gripped fist. This week we're going to talk about our bow placement and how we use it on our fiddle to get better control of our volume and tone. Okay, so a couple key things right off the bat. When you're playing, you want to have your bow approximately halfway between the bridge and the fingerboard. Okay, so pick a spot halfway. If you get too close to your bridge, you run the risk of getting that really airy, screechy tone that nobody likes to hear. Okay, if you're hearing that in your playing, those for you, for you beginner players or maybe some of you intermediate players are having that trouble too. If you're getting that tone, watch your bow because you might be drawing closer to the bridge than you, than you think you are, okay? That's okay. Um, so, middle between the bridge and the fingerboard, don't draw at an angle. Because what happens is you get stuck here, out at the end of your reach, and you've still got three or four inches of bow left that you could potentially be using. So nice and straight, full extension. When you get up here, curl your wrist up a little bit to get that last little bit. Use your fingers to get that last little bit because you're gonna run out of, you can't get your elbow tight enough. You know, right to the tip. Fingers the last little bit, that last couple inches, you can use your fingers to push right up. I mean, those are, that's the extreme use of your bow length, okay? Um, all right, volume and tone. 90% of it comes from your bow, in my opinion, okay? Um, of course, your fingers and, you know, being firm down on the string with your fingertip, that all plays into it. If you're only half there, you're not going to get good tone. Um, but taking for granted that you know your fingers have to be down there. The rest of it comes from your bow, okay? Make sure that your bow has hair on it. And I don't have an example right here in front of me, but some of the student bows here that we're replacing right now at the school I'm teaching at have like maybe half the hair left on them or less. Make sure that you've got a good amount of bow hair. If your bow is starting to get, you know, lots of off cuts because you've been plucking hairs out of it, uh, have it rehaired, maybe look at a different bow. Uh, Rehairing is always a good option, always a viable option on a quality bow. Okay, so you want to get loud volume, draw the most tone out of your instrument. You got to use all the hair that you have on this bow. Okay, so being tilted forward and only using half the hair on your bow, not going to help you. Make sure you're flat, you're putting good pressure but you don't want to have so much pressure that you're getting that gritty tone. What I tell people when they're trying to find that pressure they want to be at. Start light. Pressure, 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 pressure. There's the grit. Back off 10%. Full hair. Full width of the hair. Good pressure equals volume and tone. Pretty simple. You want to dial back that tone. Not the tone necessarily, you want to dial back in volume. Use less hair. Half the hair. Roll that bow forward, pull some of that hair off the string. You don't want to go so far that your stick starts dragging on the string. That gives you a bad tone as well. You want a little bit of a mellower tone. Go a little bit closer to the fingerboard. This is going to vary instrument to instrument, player to player. Um, but as a general rule, with stringed instruments that have a sound hole, have holes you know when you get closer to the fingerboard a little further away from the the F holes the tone that you're gonna get will be a little different okay um, what else is there you got your bow grip you got a good bow grip now you're playing in between the bridge and the fingerboard you're using good long length of bow all the hairs on the string if you want a softer tone, you're rolling forward a little bit more and pulling some of that hair off the string, lightening up on your touch. And there you go. Quick tutorial on getting maximizing the, the most out of your bow. 
Have a great day. Uh, if you like what you've seen here, subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, have an awesome day.